Hey everyone and welcome back to another video from Delta Space Systems. Today I'm going to be covering the launch of Frontier Flight 15. Frontier is a fully 3D printed rocket with a liftoff mass of about 600 grams and an estimated apogee of 160 meters. The changes from Flight 14 to Flight 15 are the switch to quaternions for orientation, a stronger and more constrained TVC mount to help with alignment and the auto-scaling integral term in the PID control loop. And with those changes, I was finally able to launch Frontier again on an Aerotech F20 rocket motor. There were two problems in this flight. The first issue was the PID gains on the Y-axis servo were too high, which led to the rocket oscillating as it lifted off. This should be a simple fix to just reduce the gains a little on the axis. The other issue was that mid-flight, the linkage stopper in the x-axis servo came loose, which allowed the push rod to slide freely, which caused a misalignment. That's when we see the rocket pitch backwards in mid-air. For the next flight of Frontier, I will update the PID gains on the y-axis servo, I will use Loctite on the linkage stoppers to ensure they can hold onto the push rods, and slightly increase the mass of Frontier to help with stability when it's traveling above 50 meters per second. If all goes well in the next flight, I should be on track to launch an Aerotech G25 for the 17th flight. I'm Cole, thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next launch.